One way to give the player information about what's going on in the game is to use a GUI, graphical user interface, text element or GUI text. To add one to your scene, you just need to go to game object, create other and GUI text. This will add a written element onto the 2D uh, renderer of your screen. So that's handled by the camera, GUI layer. That's not that important when you're starting out. The important thing is knowing how to adjust what's written in the GUI text. So you can adjust it via the inspector. So I could say, hello world, and it would print it on the screen. Or I can control it via a script. So for example, if I go to create JavaScript and say GUI text example, I'm going to call it that. Again, it's not hugely important what you call these things. And what I'm going to do is into my update function, which remember runs every frame, is to address uh, this component. So remember, GUI text is a component on an object. So I've just added a game object, but essentially it's just a normal object with a GUI text component. I could have added it to uh, a normal object um, via the component menu as well. But I didn't want to do that because I would just... Um, be making another new object for the sake of it. So instead of adding a GUI text element, I went to game object, create other GUI text. So I could control it via the inspector, but I, instead I'm going to write a script. So this is a component I'm addressing. So I can start off by just writing the name of the component. And the setting I want to control is text. So if I look back at the object, GUI text component, text is the parameter I want to change. So I say GUI text dot text and I can say equal to and write in a string. So a string is something inside inverted commas, put simply. So if I say GUI text dot text, hey, what's up? And I know that I need to put in a string because if I looked in the scripting reference, I would see var text, which is what we're adjusting, is of type string. And you'll see why it's important to have that particular type uh, when we have a look at it in a moment. So if I say, hey, what's up, and I save that, switch back to Unity, and drag that script onto the object. Remember, you can drag it onto the hierarchy, or you can drag it into the inspector. When I press play, now it doesn't say hello world, it says what the script is telling it to. So, hey, what's up? So that's just one quick way of doing it. If I wanted to pass it a variable, I could do that as well. So for example, if I wanted to create a counter in my game, I could say var counter. And usually a counter would be an integer. It wants to count in whole numbers. So I'd say, let's start that at zero. And for example, I might want to feed that into my GUI text object. So I might want to say, let's increment the counter every frame. So every time the update function runs, so every frame of the game, I might want to add one to it. So I can say plus equals one, but I can also just say counter plus plus. That will mean add one every time. So that's going to change that variable from zero and start counting up very, very, very quickly. So if I wanted my GUI text dot text um, parameter to display the value of counter all the time, in theory, I should just say counter. But the problem with that is it's not a string, it's an integer. So if I press save and switch back to Unity, Unity will tell me that it cannot convert integer to string. So effectively, I'm putting the wrong data type there. But we can get around that by adding an empty string onto the start of the counter variable. So it's going to display effectively nothing plus the counter. Or I could write something in. I could say counter is like that with a space and then it would add the value onto the end of that sentence. So let's take a look at that. If I hit save, first thing to notice is my error is now gone, which is great. And then if I press play, there's counter is and it's counting up. You can also change the font of a GUI text uh, if you've got a true type font or um, a couple of other different font types. Again, refer to the component uh, manual for more info on that. You can just put them into the project folder and you can drag them into the font setting there and change the font size here to whatever you want it to be. You can also change anchoring. So where the uh, text starts off, I might want to say middle center alignment center and that'll be 
bang on in the middle of the screen and then you can tr control the positioning of the overall element using the X and Y values. So if I wanted it to be, let's say, upper left and I wanted it to be at the bottom there, then what I could do is position it like that and then as soon as I see what it looks like I can start tinkering with the X and Y values in order to get it exactly where I want it to be and they will scale based on how big or small your screen size happens to be. So if I press play now you'll see the full effect of that and there's my counter. So that's basic usage of a GUI text in Unity.